Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti Aigis. As the world becomes volatile, India locks its pawns with China and Pakistan in myriad weather conditions. India has gotten its light combat helicopter. The indigenously developed light combat helicopter, this factual information, the factual information, whatever it is related with it, it's important. Other than that, the analytical part is important from the perspective of GS mains paper second and third. Let us begin with the various topics that we are going to cover under it. These are the many topics that we are going to cover. And moving ahead, if we talk about the light combat aircraft, it was recently inducted at the IAF Air Base in Jodhpur by the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Chief of Air Staff. And of course, other important officials were also present. The fleet of four helicopters have been inducted in the ceremony and the light combat helicopter was formally inducted into the army on September 29th at Bangalore in this particular year and now IAF also got four helicopters. Moving ahead, let us talk about the features of it. It is going to be called as Prachand. It means fierce and this is an indigenously developed helicopter. And it is the only attack, attack helicopter in the world which can land and take off at an altitude of 5,000 meter. Not only that, but also it could carry a considerable load of weapons and fuel when it does so. And it has been developed by the state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. Okay. And if we talk about the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, first of all, we have to understand it is India's aerospace and defense industry. It is one of the largest and oldest one when it started as Hindustan Aircraft Limited. Okay. And that was in the year 1940 in Bangalore. Who has established Hindustan Aircraft Limited? You will tell me in the comment segment. But in 1951, it got under the administrative control of Ministry of Defense. And in 1964, two companies were merged by the name of Hindustan Aircraft Limited and Aerospace India Aeronautics. Sorry. Aeronautics India Limited. So, Aeronautics India Limited became HAL. Okay. Moving ahead, let us talk about the other important parts of it. Where did it originate? If we talk about the origin of it during the 1999 Kargil War, it was necessary that India should have a homegrown lightweight assault helicopter. As we know, the terrain during the 1999 Kargil War was not in favor of India, despite that India won. But it was seen that we need a homegrown indigenously developed technology so that we do not uh, we do not depend on any other country to provide us so in case of war and apart from that an alter and a such helicopter was needed which could lead india to victory and that would be despite of any terrain so this was done and pressure precision strikes in all indian battlefield scenario was one of the requirements other than that it could do so in very hot days like the border areas, the border states that we share with Pakistan and also in cold high altitudes like we share with China. In counter insurgency scenarios, this particular light combat help helicopter was needed to full scale battle conditions as well. Moving ahead, if we talk about the current fleet, India currently operates three sub three ton category French origin legacy helicopters by the name of Chetak and Cheetah. It is made in India only by the HAL. And these, these are single engine machines and these are utility, primarily utility helicopters to provide the utility. And other is Lancer, which is an armed version of Cheetah only. Okay, Lancer is the armed version of Cheetah. Uh, apart from that, Russian origin MI-17 and its variants MI-17-4, MI-17 V5 as well. And the maximum takeoff weight for these two is 13 tons. It will be phased out. So it will not no longer be available by the year after the year 2028 moving ahead if we talk about the project this project was sanctioned in the year 2006 in october 2006 after a lot of debates and a lot of deliberation and hal was supposed to develop it apart from that the hal's rotary wing research and development center was already pretty experienced because they developed the advanced light helicopter dhruv and its weaponized version alh rudra so these are the preliminary facts that you have to know. Moving ahead, let us talk about the very important features of it. This particular light combat uh, um, helicopter by the name of Prachand is a twin engine dedicated combat helicopter. That means it is not a utility helicopter, 
but it is the combat helicopter combat helicopter means it will be uh, it will be engaging in combats okay and this will be a 5.8 ton class a neuro a narrow fuselage is one of its powers that means it's sleeker the compartments are like this for the pilot and the co-pilot so that becomes sleeker in nature uh, one behind the other configuration for pilot and co-pilot and the co-pilot will also be the operator of weapon systems okay moving ahead let us talk about other important features maximum speed is 268 kilometers per hour the range is 550 kilometers apart from that it has an endurance for over three hours it could uh, be in line for three hours service ceiling is 6.5 kilometers that means what is the maximum density altitude for it is 6.5 kilometers then radar absorbing material is used here that means if radar is um, you know perpetrated on this particular aircraft it will not reflect it back that means its radar signatures will be less and that means enemies cannot uh, put this particular helicopter on their radar map it is structurally built in a crash proof structure which is very significant in nature and landing gear as well a pressurized cabin is available so that the pilots can be sa saved from nuclear biological and chemical contingencies as well so you can see how beautifully this has been developed a countermeasure dispensing system is also there which will protect it from enemy radars or infrared seekers as i've already told you and it is also having a lot of weapons like 20 mm ture gun 70 mm rockets and air to air missile systems are also on board and it will be powered by two french origin shakti engines which are manufactured by hal only moving ahead let us talk about the significance now first thing that we need to understand it is very similar to uh, the features of advanced flight helicopter but sometimes it's different that means the tandem co co cockpit configuration as i told you that it will be sleeker in nature pilots won't be like this they will be sitting like the compartments will be arranged one after the other okay so this will be sleeker in nature okay so this is one of the things that it can go anywhere terrain will not be a problem for this moving ahead let us talk about the other significance first of all combative roles for combative roles it will be very important because as we see the Shiachen glacier uh, as it is situated in the high altitude ranges what happens that this particular region becomes very important this is kind of a region where Pakistan India and China all the three can come together in order to become decisive to who it actually it on the ground really it belongs to so of course it the it has been a part of India since a very long period of time but China continues its nonsense along with Pakistan so for here it is very important apart from that as I told you in desert areas it is also very important so the technology demonstration has been done in deserts hot deserts cold deserts cold areas everywhere okay destruction of enemy air defense system if there is any as China continues to militarize the borders near India it is very important that we get it counter insurgency warfare which is of course perpetrated by our neighbor Pakistan constant infiltration of enemies in this areas as they use them as their strategic assets they also need to be rooted out apart from that combat search and rescue as well in case of disasters and anti-tank and counter surface force operations are also used moving ahead let us talk about other important points now as india becomes important in the export of defense equipments now uh, HAL has already got its no objection certificate from Ministry of Defense and it is ready to export these to Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Angola, Egypt, Indonesia, Niger and Ecuador as well. Now how did it get inducted? What was the process of it? As I told you that whenever, in, uh, whenever a helicopter for IAF or Army or Navy has to be developed, it has to go uh, from technological demonstration to demonstrate the technology. Is it uh, accurate? and is it actually in accordance with what the criteria is or not so the first technology demonstrator was completed in february 2010 and the first flight was done on march 29 the same year after that technology demonstrated two prototype prototype that means uh, it's not final it's just a design prototype was completed around 2012 and it was done in the cold weather trials at high altitude and technology demonstrated three and four prototypes uh, were completed around in 2014 and 15. All four undergone over 2000 flights with close to 1600 flight hours. So it's perfect. 
for induction in the current times. Moving ahead, let us talk about other important things as I have already quoted this. So let's not go through that. But what was, uh, what all were included in the technology demonstration? Electro optical system, helmet mounted display system, solid state data as well as video recorder. Weapons, turret guns, rockets and air to air missile system. Weapon firing trials were also conducted. So these are all combat systems. In August 2020, the Ministry of Defense added LCH to the items under import embargo. That means a list was created in which certain equipments were not allowed to get imported from outside. So then it gave a boost to indigenous LCH. In November 2021, Prime Minister symbolically handed over the LCH to the Indian Air Force. That means it was ready for induction. In March 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved procurement of 15 LCH limited series production and out of this 10 was for the Indian Army and 5 was for the uh, 5 helicopters were for the IAF. The outlay for these helicopters were 3887 crores and the infrastructure to be developed along them was 377 crores. Okay. Moving ahead, let us talk about the other important point. What is the way forward? Projected requirement is 160 helicopters in which 65 will be for IAF and 95 for the Indian Army. So a detailed master plan has been formulated by HAL. The peak capacity of this detailed master plan will be 30 helicopters per year to get in line with the next 145 helicopters that will be made. So in the next eight years, 145 helicopters have to be manufactured. The peak capacity, whatever the peak capacity will be 30 helicopters per year. This is what they have said. Okay. Moving ahead, let us talk about our question. The indigenously developed light combat helicopter use the engine Shakti, which find their origin in Russia, France, Germany or Israel. You have to answer this correctly in the comment segment. I will take your names tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.